Welcome back to React.js and Redux tutorial with real life examples. In this last part, we are going to talk about how to create multiple reducers. This being said, let's get started. So let's stop the server. What we are going to do is that we are going to create one reducer for the set BG action and one for the set color action. So this being said, let's write touch src reducers bg reducer.js touch src reducers color reducer.js let's go inside the color reducer and add the following code export default state equal an empty object action switch of action type case bg change return the old state bg color of action payload and in the default return state now let's copy everything in the bg reducer and change the case to okay so i've made a small mistake this is the code that i should have been written for the bg reducer so we'll leave it like so and go back to the color reducer change the case to color change and the return prop to active color. Sorry about this. Now inside the root reducer, we need to somehow make these two new reducers work together. So let's delete everything and write import combine reducers from Redux. And I think you've already guessed what this is for. It will combine the reducer into only one. Then import bg reducer from reducers bg reducer and color reducer from reducers color reducer export default combine reducers active state that refers to color reducer and bg state that refers to bg reducer so we are saying that bg reducer will change the bg state key prop of the store state and the color reducer will change the active state key prop of our store state. So before this, we had our state something like this state equal to active color key of color one value and BG color of color two value. Now the first key prop will be changed into active state key of an object of active color key with color one as prop and bg state key of an object of bg color key with color2 as prop. So this is how the new store state will look like. So I'm going to delete this because we don't need it. And uh, this means that we have to make some minor changes in how we use the state in our components and how we create the initial state in the store. So inside the store.js, we need to change the bg color key to bg state of bg color with black prop and active color to active state of active color with info as prop now inside the sidebar component we need to add bg state keyword before bg color and active state keyword before the active color and inside the fixed plugin component we need to change all of these.props.active color to these.props.active state.active color and all of the these.props.bg color to these.props.bg state.bg color. Let's start the server again and wait a bit for the app to refresh. And if we click again the colors on the right menu, everything still works the same. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and you've learned something new from it. Until next tutorial, I wish you happy hacking.